Scorpio. Hey Scorpio, how you doing? This is a reading for the 1st to the 8th of August. And I'm going to start off by pulling you an Angel Wisdom card. From the Radley Valentine Angel Wisdom Tarot. Ace of Cups. Nice. Good. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or a deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. Now you did also get the Eight of Cups. Now I saw this one before I saw the Ace of Cups, so I am going to consider it coming before that. That's what you want to, because Ace is the beginnings, that's what you want to move into. A beautiful new emotional experience by walking away from things that no longer serve you. Eight of Cups, the need to move on. Seeking more from life than what you are experiencing. A spiritual quest. Choosing to make big life changes. A change in priorities. Leaving home. Okay. Let's see what your main reading is chatting about. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm not surprised that the Six of Cups has come out there. That's one of the things that you want to be walking away from. Releasing the past. Six of Cups. Nice. Magician. Card number one, your first card. The Hierophant. So far this week, the Magician or the Hierophant has not shown up for anyone. Neither has the King of Pentacles. The moon just did for Libra. What have I said? I said, um, yes, Scorpio, Scorpio. Sorry, I just did Libra's reading. Or was it Libra? I can't remember. I think I might be wrong. Six of Cups. So four people cards, then the Six of Cups, then the Two of Wands. Now, sometimes the Two of Wands can mean uh, picking the right path. You've got Ten of Cups underneath the Magician. Fantastic. As above, so below. The Magician. The Infinity Symbol. So below. Ten of Cups. So passion, love, joy, happiness in the foundation. Ace of Cups. Underneath Hierophant. And we need four more cards. One, two, three, four. Wow. I have to say... For this reading, Scorpio, the cards are just flying out very, very easily. Seven of Swords can mean lying, cheating, stealing. But you've got the Eight of Cups walking away from that. Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups. Page of Swords. And the Knight of Wands, the Builder. The second fastest moving knight. Now, the Knight of Swords often looks like he's moving too fast. The Knight of Wands has a good sort of galloping pace. So something coming into or out of your life quite quickly when you walk away. These first four cards are really jumping out at me. The Magician, the Hierophant, the King of Pentacles, the Moon. So the Magician, Manifestation Power. As is traditionally represented and as is here, the magician has all the tools he requires, the resources that he needs to grow food on Mars is right here in front of him, as is depicted in the movie The Martian. I mean, this is from that movie, if you haven't uh, noticed. So everything you will everything you require is right in front of you. 
the Hierophant of Tradition, Learnings, Education, Initiation, Apprenticeship, Mastery, This is interesting. So I am getting boss energy. Bossing up. Into. A leadership role. We've got the two of ones here. At the end of this row. Is the two of ones. Trust your intuition. Some things might be hidden. There might be some things that you do not yet know. That are going to happen. But then they wouldn't, it wouldn't be a nice surprise when they do. I'm not getting bad surprises, but one of the surprises you might not want, because you've got the Eight of Cups as a walking away energy, is this Six of Cups. It doesn't look like you were, you're wanting this, because you want to reach out into the world. Ah, release the past. Release that past, because the sun is setting on that situation. Ten of Cups, beautiful. Ultimate happiness. Ultimate love. Ace of Cups is a beginning in something that you really can be passionate about. So following your passions. Seven of Swords. This is the... Eh, I think... Could be a ward sign, could be any sign. But I think this is the... You, you you had the Queen of Cups. But I think that's the energy you want to get away from. Because with the Queen of Cups and the Page of Swords, I'm getting quite a negative energy there. Of those three cards in a row. That looks like that is the past person. And it does. The moon here is on this Queen of Cups. So there is watery energy here. And it's underneath the moon card. To someone possibly a little bit deceptive from the past. Not, doesn't look like they're coming back in. Looks like you're walking away from that. And to finish off with building something, the Knight of Wands, the builder. On the traditional, right away, the Knight of Wands has pyramids in the background. So like building an empire. And you do have, I mean, Willy Wonka, he has an empire, doesn't he? And that was, and it's after the Hierophant, after Vito Corleone here, depicted in, on this card. So two cards with people who have empires on them. Just saying, because it jumped out to me that way. Right from the very beginning, but I was waiting to say it till the end. Um, okay, superb. Six of Wands and the Magician, that's a big time glow up that other people are going to see. Watch out for the haters, but you know, don't worry about them. Haters going to hate, so let them. Two of Pentacles on the Hierophant. So that could be a tricky energy to look out for four of cups on the king of pentacles now i'm going to suggest that you don't want to this four of cups is about an offer coming in from the universe and you missing it or not wanting it i'm suggesting keep keep your wits about you because i think you are going to want to know what it is And on the moon, what are these two? We've got the King of Cups for the moon and the Wheel of Fortune. So some unseen success coming in. I mean, with the Magician and the Six of Wands right at the beginning, definitely. But I think it's unseen. Nine of Cups on the Six of Cups. Make a wish. Now, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never got this message before, but um, make a wish that this person from the past doesn't come back. Two of swords on the two of wands, so two twos, 22. 
breaks down to a four. Knight of Pentacles on the Ten of Cups. So this happiness has been a long time coming. Also, that could mean that your angels are watching over you to make sure you do find your happiness. So listen to them. King of Swords on the Ace of Cups. So another reading where I got a similar reading for this week. It could be a collective energy. Because of your international glow up of the words that are popping in, you could have two people from the past coming back. And I I, I bet you we get you want to cut out the Ace of Cups? I th I think. Take it as it resonates. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or just think before you act. Think before you go jumping in. Wow, the Seven of Swords is clarifying the Seven of Swords. So that is definitely making sure that you... If, if two people could be coming back from the past. And I got this like three readings ago. Let's see. The Queen of Cups might be the one that you're wanting. What's that? I think it's the Page of Wands. No, it's the Page of Swords. Yeah, two people coming back from the past and I'm not too sure that you're going to want either of them. That's what I'm thinking because you're stepping into something new because of the Eight of Cups being the Angel Wisdom Tarot card. Stepping into something new that's spiritual, the Hierophant. You've got the Hierophant twice. And on the Knight of Wands, you've got the Ten of Swords, Endings. Endings bringing in new beginnings. So there is like a bit of a bit of coagulation <laughs> with these two energies from the past. There is a similar thing going on here, and I'm not too sure that you want either either of them. When the King of Swords came out in the Ace of Cups, I was going to say if another sword card, especially like a person sword card, comes out on the Queen of Cups, it's like two people that you do not want. And it did. Now obviously, take it as it resonates. Don't try that make don't try and make that fit your story if it doesn't fit your story. Your Angel of Light affirmation card is Cooperation. Interesting. Angel Wisdom suggests that you use your skills and talents for the common good. Eliminate power struggles, conflict and competition, which come from an ego desire to win. Cooperation Co-op Cooperation for the highest good promotes harmony and togetherness, and draws the best from everyone. Make it your aim that everyone has a sense of satisfaction from work done, then you become a spreader of goodwill and harmony. Your angel guidance is to bring people together and explore how you can mutually assist each other. Your attitude of sharing will ensure that, you're benef that you will benefit in your own turn, for the angels will bless you and your endeavours. The affirmation is, I cooperate with everyone. I cooperate with everyone. I, I have to say, when I saw that card, it didn't resonate with me for the reading. Not going to lie. So I'm going to pull another one. Interesting. Vulnerability. Now that does resonate a bit more. Only the brave and open-hearted dare to allow themselves to be, to be vulnerable. For it requires courage to take down all walls and expose your humanness. Your angel guidance is to become aware of your defence mechanisms which keeps you separate from others and the divine. Ask your angels to help you dissolve your masks and barriers so that your fragile true self can emerge like a butterfly from its cocoon. The reward is freedom, love and a sense of inner safety. So dare to be vulnerable and open. The affirmation is vulnerability is my strength. Vulnerability is my strength. Interesting. I'm going to pull you one more 
Angel Wisdom card. Okay, let's have one more. How many came out there? They came out in quite a big chunk. So. <laughs> you got four. So let's let's go through all four. You got the two of cups, union, love, Cupid's arrow, blessing two people. And look, they have they've started living in a house together. Falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. Six of Pentacles. The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Six of Pentacles. The Star. Nice. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams come true. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. But the light at the end of the tunnel is the Nine of Swords in reverse. But I don't read reversals. So this Four of Swords, as you will often hear people say, meditation, is very clearly depicted on this card. Insights that come from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. So get more sleep. Okay, Scorpio, thanks for being here. Take care. Peace. Bye. Forever though. Oh,